Aloha tribe, aloha, it is Pink Bella. How's everyone doing? Hi, Pink Bella from Pink Bella Aloha Therapy. It is May 22nd, 2018. It is a power day. It is a 522 day. So I am Pink Bella from Pink Bella Aloha Therapy. And I am a twin flame. I am a star seed. I am a light worker. I am uh, I'm a liaison. I work with your higher self and your team of light during sessions. And I specifically offer 12 chakra energy balance sessions plus new Akashic healing sessions with Archangel Michael and Metatron and your higher self. I just created a new little video explaining a little bit more about Akashic sessions and readings and how that works for your twin flame journey, for your starseed journey, for your soul mission. Um, so you can check that out on YouTube. It's also on my Facebook page, but I'll go into a little bit of that today as well. I do have a transmission and I want to share with you some experiences that I've been going through since the last video so much has been going on and um, I'm not even too sure what I'm going to call this video. Hi everyone. Uh, I'm not too sure what I'm even going to call this video on YouTube right now because there's so much information. Uh, it's about the event. It's about another wave of light codes that came in starting last uh, week on the 17th and 18th. Welcome everyone. Um, it's about uh, us being moved over to these new wave grids, the new fifth dimensional grid, a little bit more, a little bit more. It is about stargates and portals and about what I've been seeing. It's about the Blu-ray uh, frequency, how I'm seeing more and more of the Blu-ray frequency, how the orbs I'm seeing are bigger and bigger. Pillars of light are bigger and bigger. Um, and today is uh, the 22nd of May, which is a power day. So I'll just talk about the numerology around that a little bit and what's happening for us all. And there is a full moon coming up, but this last gateway, this past weekend, hadn't, didn't have anything to do with the full moon coming up. And I needed to integrate personally, and I also needed to find out a little bit more information about it as well. So um, where to start? I have pulled some cards. Uh, on the weekend, I was guided to pull some sacred geometry cards for us for this week. And I'm probably going to do that, hopefully on a weekly basis, as we head towards the June solstice gateway so even though it's may we are absolutely prepping for the gateway in june which i can't even share with you how powerful that gateway is last june gateway was when i reconnected with my star family and started to share about star seeds so it's a very profound time for many of you and we're every week it's going to get a little bit more intense a little bit more intense there are currently solar winds, solar flares uh, impacting everyone. So, and I know I saw um, Sandra Walter today shared about the, um, the earth energy. I'm just trying to, it'll come to me the name of the name of when they measure the uh, earth frequencies, what that's called. It, uh, it went off the charts today. So everyone is feeling it. The Hermann frequency, I think that's what it's called. The earth frequency. Um, and this is really interesting too. So I was, I've been sharing a little bit along the lines of the Akashic record healing sessions I've been offering. I did, that's the little video that I created today. I went through it a little bit more in more detail and the new sessions for now through, um, June and actually I'm already booking into June, but this, the Blu-ray, uh, healing sessions are coming forward and I've, I've got a transmission about that and I'll share it with you as well. It's connected to Atlantis and and the star systems and it's also connected to King Arthur and Guinevere, the Round Table of Knights, Glastonbury and the uh, and Merlin. So it's pretty awesome. Um, and it, June, the June Gateway is about our heart chakra, our upper heart chakra called the Cosmic Heart and our throat chakra. So it's going to be about healing, expanding, going through tests up until then to allow more lock and key codes to un unlock themselves from the chakras. So you have more accessibility to your magical abilities is what I like to call it. We all go through processes of um, tests every single day and especially when we head into a large gateway to see whether or not we can stay calm we can get back to our center point uh, that we're not going to blast others with light if we go down onto ego which is very common for all of us now we're still on this earth and we can experience much of 5d but we still go through experiences of 3d and i'll share a little bit about what's been happening with me and it's about it's about staying at our center point and or getting back to our center point okay so I have pulled some uh, chakra messages and cards for everyone, divine feminines and masculines, and the collective basically, okay? And that's what these, I'm going to do the these cards at the end. Uh, I'll read them out and you can look at them and they're a little bit of an activation for you. So how, if anyone has any questions or you want to share your experiences, 
type them in the comments and I will uh, at the end I will look at them and, and see what's appropriate to answer okay thank you also be, for being here thank you everyone who booked sessions um, I am booked into the first week in June so if anyone is interested for a session for June uh, check in with me pretty soon okay all right so where to start um, okay so basically I didn't know this was coming and I think what's happening now is there's going to be since the uh, the event that everyone was talking about the light code activations what are light codes light codes are what we're we are created of we are um, we are created of color frequencies we are created of number frequencies uh, sacred geometry images so the codes that come in uh, it's like a computer program. We're getting a software download and or upgrade um, every time. We'll either get it from the sun, we'll get it from the earth, we'll get it in our sleep. Um, there's many, many different ways. Before all of this started happening, twins would meet and activate each other. And that's still happening, but not to the same degree. It's not as important for twins to see each other so often at this time because everyone's integrating their own version of their light codes so that both twins have to do their own work and I've shared this before okay um, I've been through all experiences I've been through experiences where my beloved twin and I have been the same frequency and that was the last time we met and it was beautiful I've met him when our frequencies were completely different and it was incredibly painful energetically and physically so I understand I've been through it all so I understand it completely so when I share with you in sessions what's happening it's to be honest your higher selves will keep you apart until it's an appropriate time to reconnect okay all right so last week was beautiful and I was had a really really good week and I went on a walk and I had to think about what date it was um, because there was such a shift on the weekend so on the seventh evening of the 17th I was out walking by our ocean and there's I always look for um, lots of inter interesting activity in the skies always watch the skies Sometimes rainbows are there, all sorts of things, cloud formation, sometimes um, UFOs. And uh, I saw something that I hadn't seen before and I kept looking at it and I got my phone out to take a photo of it. And by the time I decided about that, it was gone. But before that, it was something, um, it wasn't f flat, like it wasn't like a ship, it was something that was round. It was a portal um, and it was surrounded by lime green light energy and clouds and I kept looking at it going what is that and what it did was the clouds kind of parted and this this um, apparatus which I would call a stargate pushed its way through kind of gave me a nod and then it disappeared and I didn't get any of it on camera but I was told later that was stargate and I thought see this is what's happening as more and more of us are paying attention and we're slowing down and we're able to look and see uh, what's going on around us or we're guided to look at the skies or take pictures or photos or whatever so many things are happening so we're going to start seeing more and more things in the skies not to scare us just to let us know that we're in a different timeline and a different reality so that happened that night the next day the 18th I went through a wave of basically looking back on it it felt like a solar flare but it didn't it felt like every single molecule of my being got pulled apart and then put back together it was painful there was tears uh, I couldn't stop crying and it just felt like looking back on it now I realized it felt it I was being transported to another timeline but I didn't know about it and it would have been much better to sleep through it so some of you have maybe either gone through that or will be going through that in the coming days weeks and months we are being shifted over to new timelines and I'm not too sure why I had to experience that I'm sure that the information will come at some point but within 24 hours I was integrated I will have to say that my twin flame as well is on the same timeline because energetically we are still uh, connected so that was good to know but I was given the information that we are going to be going through these different types of gateways that aren't necessarily around the new moon or the full moon or the equinox or the solstice and they're they're 5d transformational grid portals okay so that's what this past weekend was about it was basically from the 18th until today some of you might be experiencing it this week so if you're super tired you're feeling weird or if you feel like you've got this emotional wave going on get your toolkit out and do the best that you can all right I basically asked my team to knock me out so I could sleep because I had a session the next day um, but it did feel like a solar flare like no other 
and uh, the last couple, of and then I was gutted to just take the weekend off and integrate, which is what I did. I spent a lot of time in nature. I spent some time with family, um, and I'm feeling much better. And looking back on it, it was like, you know, in Star Trek or um, Star Wars, if you see people materializing from one area to another, that's what it felt like. So hopefully I'll have another tool to assist me and help all of you um, beforehand, the next time I go through something like that. Okay, so that's what went on. I also, when I was out in nature on the weekend, the blue light was unbelievable. Like the orbs were huge, pillars of light everywhere, and they're just getting, it's they're getting larger and I'm able to see more because my third eye is opening more. So that's when I was given the information that to offer the blue ray Akashic healing sessions from now until through June. Um, they're on my website already. I'll, I'll talk about those at the end as well, but that's what's going on. And... I think that that might be it about the um, the what I have personally been experiencing the last week. The other thing is is that in 3D, I had not one, not two, but three appliances in the home I'm living in go. <laughs> boom, boom, boom. So I've had repair people in and out, and there was power washing going on outside. <laughs> like there was so much stuff to prevent me from doing videos for all of you, and I found it really interesting, so I worked around it. Um, but you know, even all of this is like the information I was given is a lot of the appliances or electronics, cars, um, cannot handle the new frequencies. And when the plumber came to fix, um, something in the bathroom, he basically said to me that this little piece collapsed. That's right. Um, old, old, uh, technology, old appliances, cars, etc., are going to have a hard time in these new frequencies. There's such a high vibration. Okay. So that's what I wanted to share with all of you. Did I pass with flying colors? Yes. Is it still going on? Yes. <laughs> but you know, um, I just wanted to share with you all that we're all going through these little tests, um, to let, to let you know that it's not just you that might be experiencing these kind of things. Okay. All right. Let me just see if there's anything else. Um, Okay, why don't I, okay, they're telling me to do the, the, um, I'll do, I'll talk about the Akashic healing at the end, the Blu-ray session at the end, and why don't I just get into some of the messages for everyone. So, today is, uh, the fifth month still, so we're going through a lot of transformation and change, all right? Butter, uh, caterpillars to butterflies, whether you're feminine or masculine, and 22 is about intuition. For those of you who've been following me a long time, uh, 22 started to come to me specifically when I spent time with my twin in uh, September 2016. That's when I was given the information that many of us are activating beyond the 12 chakra system. There's m way more. Um, we were he and I were activating, you know, 20 up to 22. Uh, a lot of you started to activate those chakras just before the summer solstice, summer solstice, the um, solar eclipse in August. Uh, it was coming through in July. Now, what that means is you're integrating more and more of your higher self in your physical body, and we still have higher aspects, uh, like uh, in the 22nd dimension, basically, that we can access for wisdom. So for some of you, like today is such a powerful day, but it says the card is intuition. And for some of you, like this is about your magical abilities coming online. So it's go time. It's basically a month from today until the solstice where you might be going through a lot of hoops uh, to prepare you. Okay. So I just wanted to share that with you. For those of you that are twin flames and or star seeds, this is your time to shine. It is your time to be on soul mission, to shine your light, to come out of hiding if you've been doing a lot of internal work. Not for everyone, but it's just like some of you are going to get that push because the planet needs your light. It needs your um, wisdom. And it's going to be an opportunity as well for you to connect more with your higher self, with your team of light, and those of you who are star seeds with your star family, all right? This this time of year was when my star family started to, to contact me more. And I was a little leery at that point because I always want to make sure, even when I work with all of you, I want to make sure who is communicating with me. Why can't you go through my higher self? Why are you speaking to me? So it, what happened was because I found out I was a starseed super early, like in the 90s, I had to be put back to sleep so I could function in this reality because I was working in the corporate world and there there was no internet yet and nobody knew about starseeds. Very, not, not very many people did. Um, so for a lot of you as starseeds, part of that component is 
you've been stuck down here in the karmic wheel on this earth for a long time. You're being given a chance, an opportunity to ascend, to awaken, uh, to bring forward your abilities and your wisdom to help everyone here on earth, but also to go home. Okay, so that's, this is an opportunity for a lot of souls to ascend to another timeline to go home. And that's, uh, that's super awesome. It's really, really positive. All right. Um, let me see. So that's it. The 20, the 22 today is a power, is a power number. It's a high manifestation day to set your intentions and your wishes, but it's also about, you know, being open to more key codes. Um, I do, uh, Lisa Transcendence Brown. If any of you follow her, she's, um, been, she was one of my teachers in 2014. She's been sharing that 222 and 22 is about, um, receiving personal codes from source, from the universe, from God. So again, this is another day to connect in some way, spending time out in nature. Don't worry if you've missed it. If you watch this video later and you missed it, just know that it's a very powerful time from today until uh, the June gateway. All right. Okay. The other messages for everyone, for the collective, I just pulled a uh, tarot card one. It says the sun and happiness. And it is, uh, the sun is the uh, 20. 19th card which adds up to a new beginning but i feel like this is about the sun this is about uh solar flares solar wind activations by spending time in the sun um receiving the rainbow codes all the codes so you don't have to spend a lot of time in the sun but a little bit so even after this video it's a nice day today i'm gonna go and spend a little time in the sun okay it rejuvenates and um activates your um, personal light codes your personal downloads all right um, the other numerology card that I picked for everyone is 33 communication. Now this is the gold energy. So again, the golden sun, right? So it all kind of connects together and another master number 33. So communication throat chakra related to our journey into June and communication is not always about speaking. It's about listening. It's about hearing. It's about telepathing. It's about heart to heart communication between you and uh, source, you and your higher self, you and your team of light, you and your star family, you and your twin flame. So even uh, as an example, my twin and I are 6,000 miles apart. We, our hearts are communi in communication with one another. So, um, Specifically, some of you, and even on my journey, a separation is so you can hone your intuitive gifts and see that you can communicate with all sorts of beings, including your twin, without actually having to be texting, be online. And I know I was told this a couple of years ago, I didn't believe it at the time because I wasn't ready, but it's absolutely uh, beautiful. All right. Okay. What else for everyone? Um, okay. I think I'll go into the individual individual messages i'm going to do masculines first so what's interesting oh i can do both of these together what's interesting is the shock i just asked for chakra messages for this week and divine feminines and masculines are the same uh the same they're different decks but the messages are the same so um self-love uh this is the masculine messages first self-love freedom and the pink energy of love okay on the feminine side same pink energy, self-love, joy, happiness, inner child, inner child. If you're not happy, if something's going on and you're not happy, the best way is just to say to your inner child, what can I do right now to make me happy? Go out for a walk, go get an ice cream cone, whatever, whatever makes your inner ch child happy will help you get through almost everything. All right. That and gratitude. Okay. The next messages. Um, and if you'd like to work with archangels, you're real. Uriel came forward, okay? Uh, the next messages are Archangel Michael. For masculines, it's patience, and this is about the portal activations, the 5D activations. You're going to be experiencing a lot. It's about your crown chakra, third eye, your intuitive abilities connecting up to source. But patience is the key, and again, if you'd like to work with Archangel Michael, I feel from now until June, more star, more of you who are star seeds and resonate with the blue frequency are going to awaken, which is beautiful. Divine Feminines, Archangel Michael, Sovereignty, you can do this. You can do this, Divine Feminines. You can keep going. You as well, connection to source, intuitive abilities, third eye. Um, but sovereignty is just knowing that you can do, you need to be 
really, really uh, in your power and know that you can manifest on your own and you can, and um, it's going to be okay. Archangel Michael, you've got a whole team working with you just to keep, to be with you, to help strengthen you through this time. The next Archangel that came through both Divine Feminism and Masculine, Japhael. Japhael is about uh, clearing karma, clearing family and personal personal karma. Karma is past lives. Karma is other timelines. Um, that's why the Akashic work came my way to, to assist all of you. And I'm doing the same thing. I've been clearing other timelines for the last couple of weeks. So for the masculines, you received first meditation and liberation. So you know, masculines, you've seen this, you got liberation and freedom were two of your messages. Um, as I have had a beautiful masculine last week, as star seeds, if you if you resonate with being a star seed, sometimes sitting and meditating is not possible. You're vibrating. You're you're vibrating so much. So how can you meditate? Walk in nature. Run in nature. Go for a hike. Go work out. Honestly, burn off that excess energy so you can sleep, and you will you will at some point be able to do some kind of yoga and meditation. But sometimes you're you're vibrating at such a high level, and I know because I've been through that. All right. Even though it says meditation, find your own way to go within. You're an individual um, and you're being given an opportunity to liberate from family and personal karma. That's for masculines. Feminines, the same. We've got celebration. So Jophiel, even in these cards, like it's the golden energy, but when I work in sessions, it's the magenta energy. It's this chakra. When this chakra gets cleared out enough, you can connect up to your higher chakras. It carries your personal and family karma. Uh, it carries the Akashic, the connection to the Akashic records. So a lot of cleansing and clearing for both divine masculines and feminines right now. And the, the key is keep your inner child happy. Um, you know, don't overdo it, but do things on a daily basis that will keep you like, oh, it's okay, I can do this, all right? So that, that came from for both divine feminines and masculines. I asked for uh, chakra, main chakra for June for both masculines and feminines. Masculines, you received third eye, Raziel retreat. Uh, again, that's like a meditation, right? So retreat is, um, if you can't meditate, spending time on your own somehow, walking, um, you know, going, doing, spending some time on your own, not having a lot of people around you so you can hear your guidance and your higher self. And if you, if you're going through a third eye activation, like I just did a couple of weeks ago, you may end up having to sleep a lot as well. All right. Divine feminines, you received, uh, Archangel Michael as well as so the third eye and crown. It says protection. So energetic boundaries, remember to, uh, clear and seal your energy. Um, and if you don't know how to do that, there's lots on YouTube, but I do offer that as one of the tools and sessions as well, how to clear and seal your energy. Okay. So Archangel Michael came in crown and third eye for divine feminines and root chakra stay grounded. So you, you may be going through some things, uh, heading up to the solstice. Just remember, do what makes you feel grounded. Root chakra is also about dissolving fear and, um, ego programs as well. So you might be going through some tests, but just remember inner child, inner child joy. And, um, we, like I said, we get tested on a daily basis. Uh, where are they? Okay. So I asked for a numerology card for divine masculines right now and some uh, tarot cards. And I pulled them ahead of time because I knew that I was going to be going through a lot of information today. Divine Masculines, you received 11, individuality, which is sovereignty. So you as well, Divine Masculines that are awakening to your soul mission, to your twin flame union, to connecting to your higher self and your team, you're being given an opportunity to do that. That's what the retreat message is about. Um, and the Tarot cards, this card, it doesn't matter what deck I use, Divine Masculines, you're getting this card. So to move forward, listen to your heart, listen to your guidance in the best way that you can. That's what this is about. And you receive the chariot, which is moving forward. So when you receive, you know, as an example, if you have a choice to make, sit with it. Sit with choice number one. How does that feel? Does it make me happy? You know, your body will give you all sorts of uh, signs and symbols. You just have to slow down enough and um, breathe enough into it. And, you know, option one, option two. 
and then you can make movement forward. So there's going to be a movement forward for you as masculines. Uh, the next card is Knight of Pentacles Loyalty. And the message I got about this, well, Pentacles is about the Merkaba. It's about abundance, but it's also about making choices based on integrity. That's what the loyalty is about. And integrity is what, what your heart guides you to do. Not what your mind tells you to do, what your heart, what does your heart guide you to do, okay? So that's what the loyalty message is, so bravo, masculines. And these messages are all for until I do the next uh, video, okay? For divine feminines, you're going to love this. Your numerology number is 26, love partnerships. I love it. Like, I think the same numbers keep coming up over and over again. 26 adds up to an 8, which is the infinity symbol. Those divine feminines that are working on a divine partnership or twin flame journey, you are going through more integration and preparation and or reunion, a another wave of reunions, okay? Um, the tarot cards, 10 of swords, endings. So it's a time, divine feminines, to, to tidy up loose ends and, and complete some things. And I know that some of you divine feminines might be in relationships, maybe that you're not very happy with and that there might be a crossroads for you. But the endings might be other things too. It might be about moving. It might be about changing jobs and locations. Okay. So, and ten, again, 10 is, uh, boils down to a one, which is new beginnings. And then the, I pulled, I wanted a clarity around that, around the endings, three of cups, reunion. All right. So those of you who are affirming and manifesting your twin flame journey or a reunion with anything, maybe a reunion with family, maybe a reunion with moving to a location that you love. Um, but it, those on a twin flame journey, you're being prepared for a reunion, which is so beautiful. And three is the Trinity. Okay. Awesome. The overall message for everyone. Two, two cards, nine of cups, make a wish, set your intentions, manifestation. This is a perfect day to do it. Uh, you can do it every day. You don't need to wait for a gateway, but I just wanted to remind you all about that. And Ace of Cups, love. Um, I listened to somebody else today, and it's absolutely true. Love will get you through everything. Self-love, sharing love with others, friends, family, animals, uh, the earth. And, um, you know, if your divine partnership, your twin flame partner is not in your life, find something else. To share love with you know just pay it forward be kind especially to yourself have compassion and love for yourself that's for everyone masculines or feminines okay where to next i'm just gonna have a sip of water how's everyone doing today hope you're all well hope you had a good weekend if you had some strange experiences on the weekend or if you felt like you moved from one timeline to another let me know because i know i'm not the only one that went through a lot i also woke up today very tired even though i had a good sleep um and i've been having crazy dreams dream times with celebrities so i wanted to share that with you like usually when i have celebrities in my dreams it's so i can remember um what was going on okay let's do i'm gonna go through the akashic healing colors like the new one and then i'll do the um the activations at the end and then if any of you have any questions like i said type them in okay so the blue ray healing akashic sessions what what is that about well the the electric blue frequency that i started to see here in january I remember I was very emotional that day because I was on a train. I was on a transit train and the pillars came right through the train. And what I was being shown was that uh, it doesn't matter where you are. The light is penetrating the planet. Okay. So the blue ray healing Akashic sessions would resonate with you. If you want to be aligned more with Archangel Michael, if you resonate with Atlantis or the time of King Arthur and Guinevere and Merlin, it is about, um, the seal of healing and protection from those times. If it's time for you to receive that seal back again, it's also a time for you to receive your sword of truth and protection again as well. Okay. It's about the blue rays about balance, it's about inner peace. It's about healing and opening and activating the throat chakra. When this throat chakra opens more, your upper abilities open more. You can be clairvoyant, more clairvoyant, more clairaudient. Um, it is about, it is a perfect session for, uh, star seeds, for twin flames, for healers, for, Star seeds. this will help you connect more to your star family. It is a specific frequency with the Pleiadians and the Syrians, so with Sirius and Pleiades. Um, it, and it does 
allow the healing session does allow clearing timelines related to the King Arthur time period to Atlantis um, in case there's any traumas around that time and and star systems as well it's also connected to the Glastonbury tour so that that specifically is the heart chakra of the planet and that's where um, probably the first time I connected with Archangel Michael because I went, I was very blessed. I went to the Glastonbury tour with a friend. She set it all up. I just went to visit her in England and that was like 1999, 2000. And I had such an activation when I was there. Um, I didn't know I was going to be doing this work at all. But if any of you relate to the Glastonbury tour and that area, then this would be a great session for you as well. Okay. Um, when I started, when I did the activation for myself and I started to work with this Ray more, Mer Ascended Master Merlin also came to work with me and uh, I've been working, he handed me a, besides Archangel Michael's sword, he handed me like Excalibur, like a Excalibur, his version of his sword, but it has crystals on it. So it looks like a, wiz a big, large wizard staff and that's what I've been working with as well. So that just came to me a couple of weeks ago, so it's very beautiful. And so that's the Blue Ray Akashic Healing Session. I'm just going to go over the other ones just briefly. So I have, uh, there's a couple of different color rays. There's a regular 60-minute Akashic Reboot, and that is a general Akashic session. Your higher self will bring in whatever needs to be healed. It is, um, I usually emanate emerald green energy with the, the Reboot. Um, the other sessions, Magenta Frequency is related to family and personal karma. It brings in joy and energy into your um, into your life and into your chakra system. Uh, the turquoise energy is about releasing timelines and healing anything from Atlantis and Lemuria, the Mediterranean, the Mayan timelines, the Egyptian timelines, Hawaii, Australia. It's also connected to your soul mission and your abundance as well. Uh, the gold frequency is about your soul mission, your abundance, it clears uh, bloodlines, family bloodlines as well. Um, and it, it does activate as well your twin flame soul mission, because for some of you that hasn't been activated yet. And then there's a rainbow frequency session and a diamond frequency session. So those sessions, um, one works with the rainbow codes, one works with the diamond codes. The diamond code one is 90 minutes. Most of the sessions are 60. So I just wanted to share that with you. I've been trying to, I'm going to try and go back to my website, and make it a little bit clearer too. If you have any questions, just email me and the specials are still on. So you can go and check that out. Okay. And I think that that's it. I am booking. Thank you so very, very much. I am booking into the first week of June. So like I said, if any of you are interested in a session or reading, um, get in touch when you, as soon as you can. It's first come, first serve. Okay, let's do these activations. So this is basically on the weekend. I just asked what are the best sacred geometry cards for all of us as we're heading towards the solstice and in June because it is preparing more of you for your heart healing, your heart opening, your throat opening, um, more of your intuitive abilities, okay? So the overall message for all of us is number 44, universal love. So I'll read the cards and then you can just, uh, we'll just breathe and look at them. The frequency of universal love activates the connection we feel to each other, to our planet, and to the whole of existence itself. And it's so beautiful. So just breathe that in. I love that it's number 44 too. Beautiful. Next card, we are going through a transition, number 43. And the frequency of transition supports our deep understanding of the ever-changing nature of existence and our lives. So we can learn to let go, surrender to the process, and allow transition to occur with ease and grace. Beautiful. Next one is number 12, change. Isn't that true? <laughs> so the frequency of change supports our ability to gracefully dance with the forever changing nature of our reality, both inward and outward, so we can appreciate the sweet release of the old and the birth of the new. So it's about releasing and letting go and just knowing that we are going through a huge transition and change. So just breathe. Beautiful. Number 15, compassion, such gorgeous cards. 
Uh, the frequency of compassion supports our ability to stand by others without judgment and be the divine mediator between heaven and earth, spirit and matter, so that unconditional love can flow from source through our heart and into the world. And that is so true. And for those of you on the Twin Flame journey, we came here to share and experience the unconditional love template. And it has not been easy, but that's what the twin is mirroring to you, is to be compassionate to yourself and um, remember about unconditional love, which we have for animals, we have for many beings in our life, but I know the twin sort of triggers all sorts of things. Let's breathe that in. Beautiful. And then finally, I love this number 28, Gaia, which is the earth. And that's, uh, the earth is going through a lot of changes right now. And I just remembered something, so I'll share that at the end. Uh, Gaia is going through so many changes right now. The frequency of Gaia reminds us we are infinitely connected to one another, just as we are to our great mother and to the universe that birthed us all. So she is our mother, Gaia, number 28, which adds up to a 10, which is new beginning. So just breathe that in. Many of you heard the call to come to Earth because you loved Earth. And you've all been so brave to be here including myself, because um, you knew that part of the deal, part of the package was not remembering. And we're going through a remembering process right now. So Gaia needed our help. She needed pillars of light to come and you're all sparkly pillars of light. We're just having to peel away the layers to get to that. That's what I remembered. Okay, so last on the 18th, uh, the volcano in Hawaii, um, had another eruption, but it was quite a large one that also triggered me. And for those of you who are connected to the Hawaiian Islands, whether you're there or not, for those of you who are connected to Lemuria and Atlantis, you may have also been triggered. Uh, for those of you on the west coast of the United States and Canada, which is where I am, uh, in the Pacific, in Australia and New Zealand, any kind of connection to Lemuria, you may have gone through some kind of triggering, some kind of sadness, maybe you've been in worry and fear because you've, ex you, on some level, you've experienced this like myself, either with the downfall of Lemuria, Atlantis, or some other timeline. I want to let you know that's why many of us are here. So um, I didn't know that I hadn't been paying attention that the volcano erupted that day, but that was also, I feel like, probably why I was shifted to another timeline so I wouldn't be feeling that so much. I have asked to not experience so much of uh, Gaia's inner earth changes in my physical body because it was wearing me down. So my team have been working on adjusting me. But those of you connected to Hawaii may very well have felt that. There's going to be more of that. There's going to be either volcanoes or earthquakes or all of that. Gaia is, she's, she's tired, she's fed up. She doesn't want anyone hurting her anymore and she's cleansing. So that's going to pop up um, various places, okay? So yes, those of you connected to Lemuria and Hawaii, you may very well have felt that on the 18th or through the weekend okay so love to all of you but yeah she's she's doing her thing and i send love to everyone on on the hawaiian islands the big island especially and anyone uh, around the world who's going through earth changes as well but many of us as pillars of light were um did choose to incarnate and or move to be on the west coast of north america to anchor in light and to assist with that so we are doing our part and um, I knew, I knew, I knew years ago that that was partly why I incarnated. And I also knew that I ne still needed to be here. So I accepted that. And uh, that's been part of my assignment. That's part of my grid work. Okay. I'm going to sign off. I don't know if anybody has any questions. If you do, please type them in. Thank you all so much for being here. I know it was very last minute. I'm sending you all so much love and aloha until the next transmission. Again, if you would like a personal reading or session, the Akashic Healings can be focused on your twin flame journey, on your soul mission, on your starseed journey, um, just on your ascension journey as well uh, as a light worker and a healer. All right. Lots of love and aloha. I'm going to sign off everyone. Have a beautiful, beautiful day and week. Love from Pink Bella. Bye everyone.